Hello there. June's heat certainly feels like a distant memory for some of us. The middle of July is bringing us something much more unsettled with this area of low pressure staying with us through the weekend. Those isobars really squeezing together across southern areas of the UK. So there is a yellow wind warning in force for southern Wales, southwest and into southeastern areas of England. Gusts widely of 40 miles per hour, potentially up to 55 miles an hour in places around some of the heavier showers through today. That is enough to cause some disruption, particularly around coastal areas. We could see some large waves and spray, but even inland with trees in full leaf, we could see some branches being knocked down and may cause a bit of disruption to travel and any events that are out throughout the day. So you just take care. Elsewhere, we'll see a mixture of thunderstorms and sunny spells throughout the day. Some heavy showers as well, providing some torrential downpours of rain and hail also possible. Because the winds are so strong across southern areas of the UK, those showers and thunderstorms are going to be pushing through at quite a pace. So that reduces the chance of us seeing any noticeably high rainfall totals here. It's where the winds are lighter across northern areas of England, Northern Ireland and Scotland, where we could see some of those thunderstorms turning slow moving throughout the day. And so that's where we have thunderstorm warnings in force. Potential for 30 millimetres of rain in just two or three hours. Potential for some flash flooding and some surface water issues for any travellers during the day. So certainly some watch points for all of us as we do head throughout Saturday. It's going to be feeling though rather cool in amongst all those showers and that breeze. Top temperatures likely around the high teens for Scotland and Northern Ireland, closer towards 20, maybe 22 degrees Celsius across parts of southern Wales into eastern areas of England. Some of those heavy showers and thunderstorms will continue throughout this evening as well before they gradually ease their way off. Likely turning driest for parts of eastern Scotland down into East Anglia, South East England as well. But there'll be showery outbreaks of rain persisting in other areas as well. The breeze is going to stay with us overnight. That will help mix up the air, so it's going to reduce the chance of our temperatures dropping off too far overnight. Many of us holding up around 12, 13 degrees Celsius, so not that chilly at all. The second half of the weekend, though, is looking to stay relatively unsettled as well. The low pressure system is pushing its way slowly up towards the north. That is going to help those isobars to space their way out a bit more across Wales, central, southwestern areas of England. But actually now those squeezing together a bit more for eastern coastal areas into northern England, parts of central Scotland, likely to see the strongest breeze throughout Sunday. That could come associated with some more persistent areas of rain for parts of western Scotland and elsewhere we will again see some heavy showers bubbling up during the afternoon. Those again could provide some thunderstorms primarily for parts of eastern and northeast Scotland into the afternoon. More in the way of sunny spells developing across Northern Ireland, Wales and England in between some of those showers as well. Temperatures on Sunday, thanks to that, just that slight bit more sunshine, more widely pushing towards 22 degrees Celsius across parts of central, south and eastern areas of England. But again, where we hold on to that breeze and those more persistent areas of cloud and rain, Northern Ireland, parts of Scotland, not seeing much higher than 18 or 17 degrees Celsius. Some of those showers again lingering as we move into Sunday evening before they gradually ease their way off for Northern Ireland, England and Wales. But the more persistent rain for parts of Western Scotland is going to continue throughout the night. Again, going to be quite a damp 24, 48 hours across locations here. And the breeze just persisting still as that low pressure centre gradually clears its way off. We're going to hold on to the relatively unsettled and showery conditions as we head into the new working week as well. So do stay up to date with the full forecast. You can find all our details across social media, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. And we'll be back here again on YouTube, the app and on the website very soon. Bye bye.